here let's talk about what we have to do when there are different kinds of foreign bodies stuck in patient's ears all right so for the foreign bodies could be anything for example insects seeds like you know green peas or any kind of vegetables wax is also a foreign body all right uh, there can also be other things like glue or any kind of adhesive materials all right so the first thing is insects so whenever there is an insect which are usually live okay live insects crawl into your ears usually that that's what happens so so when that thing happens you just have to uh, you know pour in some 2% lidocaine or olive oil or any kind of you know uh, liquids containing alcohol okay ear drops containing alcohol what this does is this either will kill the insect this this live insect will either die or it will crawl out on its own all right and when it crawls out on its own you can just remove it using a forceps so you can see this insect here so when this insect is somewhere here or something you will just pour some liquid inside and that will either come out like this or that will die and when it dies you just have to put a forceps inside and just pluck it out okay remove it and uh, pull it outwards so what happens when so as you can see here this insect is already dead probably because of lidocaine or some kind of olive oil or some kind of oil or alcohol so they are trying to remove this dead insect using the uh, using the forceps so this is how we remove a live insect so what happens when the patient uh, you know puts in some seeds or you know vegetables some kind of green peas for for example as you can see here these green peas so when there are green peas you better not you know pour any kind of liquids here okay so any kind of oil or water when we pour that uh, there is a chance that these peas might go further inside all right so rather than you know pouring some kind of liquids let's uh, just try to you know remove it using a forceps or suction or any kind of thing okay so seeds or vegetables avoid water or oil and remove with catheter or forceps uh, wax so wax is a very common condition most common condition foreign body uh, seen in the ear so this is also called cerumen so for this you'll have to pour in some you know olive oil or some kind of ear drops all right some kind of ear drops for 3 to 5 days or usually 7 days all right so these in these 7 days this wax is going to get softened okay uh, it will get dissolved a bit and then when you uh, remove it it will be easier so for the removal you can either use micro suction or irrigation of uh, you know irrigation using water soften with olive or almond oil any kind of uh, you know liquid uh, for 3 to 5 days or 7 days mostly usually and then micro suction so when do you refer these patients to you can see this is the suctioning method all right so here uh, this all this ear wax is being removed using the suction right so this is micro suction micro suction so when do you refer these patients to ent for removal under general anesthesia okay so general anesthesia is given to those patients who are uncooperative so these patients would be you know any kind of patients with uh, some dis developmental or disorders like autism or you know any uh, any distressed ch child these kind of children will go to the ent uh, for general anesthesia and adhesive materials so adhesive materials as in these kind of things where you know glue gum all of these uh, you know come in so these uh, there, there there is a high chance that children while playing with these things might put uh, you know a drop or two into their ears and when uh, they put it into their ear if the gum uh, or if the adhesive material is somewhere here or here or here then any doctor you know any doctor any junior or junior doctor can also pull it out but just imagine that adhesive material being stuck to the tympanic membrane so if it is stuck to this tympanic membrane then there is there is a chance that when you try to remove this the tympanic membrane because this gum is stuck to this adhesive uh, to this tympanic membrane there is a chance that when you pull this out the tympanic membrane might also be perforated or ruptured therefore it's better that any kind of uh, adhesive material which is stuck to the tympanic membrane has to go to the ent all right ent department 
and then any kind of tympanic membrane perforation it, it is already done okay so ENT obviously knows it the best therefore you send the patient to ENT so this here is the insect this is wax this is the forceps we use these are the vegetables of peas green peas and this is the suc suction so this is all about foreign bodies in here thank you